only been like two months since I've done a YouTube video. Hi, how are you? I still exist, unfortunately, for your eyes to, to feast upon. I'll be honest. I have definitely been trying to make videos the last few months, but I haven't liked any, any of it. I've actually deleted the content I created because I just didn't like it or the audio was terrible or whatever. But I know I'm not wearing my lav because I'm just using my shotgun mic for this because well, I want to wear a necklace, and every time I put my lav on, it scrapes against the necklace, and you hear that, and it's just like to my ears and everything. So today's been a no birthday for me so far. It's not even noon yet, by the way. At time of filming this, uh, I called out of work so I could just like ease my way into this day, and I kind of want cupcakes, so I'll make cupcakes and talk about what's going on. Also, unfortunately for me, I just reminded of the damage that my ex-roommate did when they moved out back in September. I can't use this bowl without remembering that. I think so upset. Anyways, we're going to make um, some cupcakes I've made before. This is the perfect vanilla cupcakes from Delicious Book. The just delish, delish insane treats. Sweets, treats, sweets. I don't work. I'm already fired. So I'm going to try to do a half batch and hope I don't mess up the moisture content. I just realized I need another bowl. I was like, I'm not gonna like pre-mix any of this because effort. And then I just realized like, I need a bowl to do the dry into. I hate my neighbors. I've still the same neighbors the past three years and they're just like annoying. They play music loudly where you can hear it. They scream at their kids and it's just like, oh my God, I can't. Anyways. Let's get our dry to go. So I want to do a half batch because I don't need like tons of cupcakes first off. So let's get our dry together, which it's like little fuzzies in here. I've touched this bowl so much it's like prints on the outside. Lord, we're not doing great. All right, this needs a cup of flour, which is pretty much what I have in here. Yes, I'm not gonna level, I don't care. Cause I might have messed up the moisture content in my measurements anyways of what I've taken out. So a little extra flour might not be a bad idea. All right, we also need, I think a half will do for most of this, yes. Maybe, let's actually do a fourth, all right. So baking powder, we need three fourths teaspoon because there's no acid in here so I need that baking powder to do all the work for us. How much salt we're doing? We're doing half a teaspoon of salt. And then what else we got going on? We got cornstarch. We need three tablespoons. We need a tablespoon and a half. Four hands. Anyways, what's been going on with me? So well my Content has failed what I wanted to do. I have been still streaming on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash Ravi Skyler. I do have it. That got a little jail. I do have it linked in like my YouTube profile thing, one of the little links in the corner when you visit my page. Um, I do try to stream at least three times a week there. Recently it's just been Pokemon Dead by Daylight. I do want to try to branch it back out into other games again but it's been a little difficult. <laughs> um, just because I work till 5.30 now. Um, I think last time I had a YouTube video, I was working till 4.30, uh, cause I got my schedule changed again. Now I have consecutive days off. For three years of not having consecutive days off, I finally have some consecutive days. So now I have Friday and Saturday off, and I could not be more thrilled to have that time off because I can sleep now. Like, I can sleep in. I don't have, like, this anxiety of, like, I have to get everything done on, like, my Thursday, and then I gotta work on Friday, and then I get Saturday off, or I'm gonna wanna do nothing because I'm tired from doing all kinds of errands and working directly afterwards. So, that will hopefully help quite a bit. We'll see, though. We'll, we'll see. But the goal is to be more consistent with Twitch try to make at least one YouTube video a week. 
we'll see how that goes. Cause I don't know how it's gonna go. But I have I have hopes. We'll see if they pay off though. This is what three bars? Yes. So what I've been trying to film for YouTube is a MacBook Pro 14 inch review. I haven't looked at anything I filmed for that. Um, I have a photography series I've been trying to do, but I just I can't figure out how to take pictures of myself, but still do what I want to do because I'm the subject. So it's like I have to hide the remote, and I just I haven't figured out how to do it and get the right angle and make sure it's not too much background showing. So you're like, oh, this is just you in front of a window, some curtains up, so that way the curtain looks like a backdrop. You know, we're still working on that. Uh, so I do want to try doing that. I think my goal is like one video a week for YouTube because I cannot commit to two or three like I, I used to want to try. So I, d I don't know. It's hard. It's like working 40 hours a week plus doing Twitch and then doing YouTube and it's it's really draining honestly. Like I, if I was a full-time content creator I'd probably still be drained but I probably have more content. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna mix this real quick and then we'll be right back. All right, this is beaten up, so we're good there. Let me like get some of this out of the way, shall we? I have like all this stuff in here, I really don't need it to be sitting here. Um, I can move the book out of the way. We don't need this, I'm gonna, where can I put the, I'm going to try, no, I need to put it over here. No, it's going to get wet somehow. Oh, I know, I can put it like under here. Just out of the way. I have to crack some eggs now. Oh, I didn't read, do I beat all the eggs into the regular? Yes, okay, cool. So, what's some videos that I do want to get out for YouTube? Guaranteed. Well, my MacBook review because that's been a journey. Also, I haven't really used it for video editing, so that will be fun to go over. Um, I have unwanted furniture review, so I finally bought an ergonomic office chair because I have been told I am guaranteeingly working from home now, where only one day a month I'll be going in for a team meeting, just because those are easier person. Uh, but otherwise, I'm working from home, so I need a better chair because I'm using a gaming chair for the last two, almost two and a half years, and my back is mad. So I spent some money for my tax return that I set aside specifically for a chair. And even though I set the money aside, I'm still having a little panic attack because it was very expensive. Well, expensive to me anyway, maybe not to other people, it was $400. And I'm like not even sold on it yet. Like I still have the box sitting in my utility room. So that way in the event I change my mind, I can just like plop back in the box and return it. Anyways, let me get my eggs. Can I like, oh, good. I warmed up the eggs, obviously, so that way they'd mix it with the butter, but then I forget that when you crack, they... They don't like cracking easily. So as a result, they, they do their thing, or they get everywhere. All right, let me mix this egg in real quick here. All right, now the fun part. Boop. All right. So we gotta do our lovely mix in where we start with the dry, then wet, then dry, then wet, then dry. So third and a half, gonna be fun times. I don't know if I'm gonna help ratio right, cause it's, um, oh, that should taste the vanilla, it's a vanilla cupcake. Because it's one of those ratios where it's like hard to half it very easily. So my milk may not be correct ratio. I'm too lazy to, to worry about it. So we're just not gonna worry about it. We're gonna just roll with it. That's what we do in this channel. All right, I need a spatula, hold on. Have it on the side, we're good to go. Just because I also want to scrape this down a little. Alright. So I'm going to do. I just like. I can. Alright, so I'm going to do a third of our dry here. Am I going to do.
do this accurately? No, it's just basically you just don't want to have too much liquid going in at once because then it's not going to like mix very well. That's all you're really doing. You just want to add some flour in here so we can absorb some of that liquid as it goes in. There we go. We're going to finish this off by hand because I don't want too much gluten to pour. Alright, bang off. Zong thing. Bang times. It's fine. Alright. Oh, that tastes so good. Holy crap. Ooh, you tend to put a lot of coffee, but you taste it with the cinnamon and just like vanilla, coffee, and cinnamon just go together very nicely, honestly. Alright. Of course, I use instant coffee. You do see like little specks. I'll kind of get closer. I don't know how you can see it, but well, that's blown out. You can kind of see this like little specks of coffee. So if you see it, yeah, now it's coffee. This tastes so good though. Not too thick, it's not too loose, so. I think we'll be okay. All right. Mm. It just tastes good, I'm sorry. All right, let's get you out of the way. Boop. So, I already got my little muffin tin ready to go here. I did buy some rainbow cupcake liners the past couple months, because I won a $25 Amazon gift card from uh, Twitch. Someone I, um, was subscribed to was doing a giveaway. I happened to win. It was twenty five dollars, so I bought these liners and I bought a giant bag of black cocoa because I love to use that in place of like regular Dutch process. Just at least that deep Oreo taste, I guess you could say. All right, so this recipe says not to go more than three fourths full. So I'm just be kind of careful as I scoop because like these do like rise pretty significantly from what I remember. But like this, this pretty much covers that three fourths. Bit. Or not three fourths, sorry, two thirds. Two thirds full. Right? Something like that. You three fourths, two thirds. I don't remember. It's a good amount either way. But it's gonna go until like they're all pretty much filled up here. Shouldn't be hard to figure it out. But yeah, that's the thing. It's like I'm trying to make stuff for YouTube, but it's just it's hard, and just it's just an energy requirement, obviously, to to get this all done, to do it constantly. So it's like I've just been kind of trying and not succeeding, and I've been putting that energy towards to Twitch because I've I've gotten like a return on an investment because you know like I've become part of a community, and you know I'm talking to people on a, a daily basis. Or within that community so it's like with YouTube yeah I have subscribers and thank you to those who have been subscribers I've gained like 10 subscribers in the past like week um, I assume because of my Mr. Kate Winston sofa review but that's been like the most viewed recently um, so I love that, that people are like, still subscribing even though like I'm not even <laughs> putting any videos out all right can I just like I think I think we'll be good. There'll be probably a couple small ones, but I mean, like, this one feels like it's just a hair more. There I go. I don't want to overfill these because these do poof up. I do remember that much. All right. So I'm gonna shut these in the oven at 350. I think for like what, at least 18 minutes. So let's, let's double check the book. What does the recipe say? About 25 minutes. I lied. Okay. Well, I'll go and check them like earlier because you never know because it is a pretty thick batter. So we'll be back to decorate these. So uh, stay tuned. Anyways, we are back. I tried to slide in, but it didn't work. Anyways, we're back and the cupcakes are completed. And here they are, nice and beautiful. Some of them got like kind of golden brown, some of them a little lighter, um, just because my oven definitely decided not to be very even with it. Like. Mind you, these were rotated, but you can see a color difference. These were rotated in the oven. So I did like, I turned it around like front to back. So I don't know, um, I did taste one, which is why there's like a random open spot. that was just to make sure like A, it released from the wrapper. Cause I found 
that sometimes they just don't release very well. If they're not baked properly, that's a good way to find out if a cookie's baked if you're really unsure, is like let it cool for a few minutes. If it doesn't come out of the wrapper without it like tearing the wrapper, uh, it's probably overbaked. Or, or yeah, probably overbaked really, because it means there's like no fat or grease that came out. Like you can see, like underneath here, it's a little shiny. It's like the, the fat that came out of it. So it's like that kind of that's kind of your indicator if it's even gonna release. And it did. Like it did not tear the cupcake at all, which is great. And the one I tasted was delicious, and it was fluffy, it was not dry. So I'm thinking to put some buttercream on there, it'll be even better. This plate getting eat, yeah, I got some butter on there. I warmed up the butter in the microwave on the plate. Okay, so I'm gonna just use their buttercream recipe because I'm lazy. I do have cream for once, because um, I bought it for a recipe that I didn't end up making. Uh, Owen promised this technically expired two weeks ago. It doesn't smell bad. Like, I haven't opened it until literally, like, just before I turn the camera back on. And it smells like cream. I don't see any any floaties or anything. So I think we'll be okay. It's only a couple tablespoons. Or as happens, I get food poisoning and I'm, you know, sick for my two normal days off. So, worst happens. Anyways, so I have... Half, half, one stick of butter, just half a cup. So I'm cutting the butter in half. And then we're gonna do, it's like two cups of powdered sugar. So, yes, I'm not sifting, deal with it. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna do one cup up front, just to kind of get this going, and then I'll do the other cup afterwards. So I did wash my beta blades. It, like wipe down my actual mixer though. I would normally use my stand mixer, but I just don't feel like lugging that right now and moving it and cleaning it. And I'll just use this, it's easier. All right, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add in our add-ins, which is a little bit of cinnamon, just so it ties back to the cupcake itself. A little bit of vanilla, obviously. You know, cinnamon and vanilla is like, I mean, cinnamon and butter is great, but uh, still kind of want to make sure we <laughs> add like a additional flavor. Cause I'm not one who just wants butter and cinnamon personally. Unless you add some brown sugar and make it a general filling. All right, we need a little salt to like round it out. Cause this is American buttercream, which is obviously very, very sweet by nature. So, all right. I think that might do it finally. You tell me three to four tablespoons. Girl, I've already gone over that. I'm doing a half batch. Oh yeah, I think that's good. I think I put any more, it's gonna it's gonna start breaking apart and not be able to like hold itself up. the whole peak. Like not a stiff peak, I want like a soft peak, but like I want it to be able to hold itself up. So I think we got it. Let's just taste it one more time. I'm gonna put a little bit more cinnamon in here. I'll mix this part by hand though. I just feel like it needs it. I'm not really tasting it enough. But this is obviously like a to taste thing. You don't even have to put the cinnamon if you don't want to. I just think it would, it adds a little callback to the cupcake itself. And also I just kind of want it a nice warm kind of buttercream. Yeah, see that's still holding a peak, but it is like settling down a little. That's fine with me. All right, Ooh, peace out. No. Rinse them after. Alright, I'll put you out of the way. Alright, we need... Do I wanna... I do wanna, hold on. Oops. 
either. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really Why? fine, you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Alright, we need to figure out how we want to do this. Like, do we want to do like a piping bag or do we want to dollop and swirl? So I feel like this is very swirlable. I think it's in that consistency I can get the swirl I want. So I think I'm gonna do that. Also, cause I'm lazy. Let me get a little spatula. Well, sprinkles. Cause for me, when I don't feel like piping, I just don't want to wash the tip and waste a bag when I'm like gonna do anything special. Do the good old like swoop. Cause sometimes that like looks the best in my opinion. I don't know if I can get enough to do what I want without like using too much, you know? We'll see. We'll see if I need to use the... This already isn't doing quite what I meant it to do. So we'll see. I might switch to a bag, potentially. I want to like cover it. I just don't want to like bleed the volume. Uh, I'm not going to get this to do what I want. Oh. I might have switched the bag. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll have to do a bag on this one. Yeah, the, the swoop just isn't isn't working for me. So I think I put too much on here. This is a half batch of buttercream, so it's not like it's... Oh, we didn't think it worked first, huh? Yeah, we really didn't. Oh no, I got it on the outside! Because I didn't think this through! Oh, I forgot to curl that part in. I'm so mad at myself right now. I'm so mad at myself. This is, this is the life of YouTube. I'm gonna really eat it, though. Right, let's get the book out of the way so I don't ruin the book. <laughs> We're gonna put this so it doesn't get ruined over here. We are chaotic. This dishes, we don't wanna wipe the mouth on that. Alright. Okay. We'll make it work. Bye. Fine, everything's fine, we're doing fine. We're all gonna just sit here and suck up each other's awesomeness and have awesome shooters and awesome cupcakes. We're all awesome. You have an awesome time. Did you drink awesome shooters and listen to awesome music and then just sit around and soak up each other's awesomeness? You know? Right, that's how it works. Alright. So. <laughs> yeah, like that's a great idea. Don't know if you're gonna. Not quite what I wanted. I need a bigger tip. That's like part of the problem. That's a little better. Oops. Not what I wanted. I need a bigger tip. I have a bigger one. I just didn't grab it. That's my fault. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, and then this mess. <laughs> Which we'll just like cover the whole thing because we messed up on this one. That mess up. <laughs> we'll, we'll set you aside. I'm sorry. I have a little bit of buttercream left. So I probably could have put a little bit more on some of these. That's okay. That's totally okay. There's that. Put that in our sink. Taste this again. Mm. It's so good. Oops, that did not rip evenly. All right, we want sprinkles now. Can I have like a bowl so I don't waste the sprinkles. Yes. I would do a slow mo, but I'm not. We're not feeling slow mo right now. Just 
want some cute spronkles. I don't want to waste them. So I'm doing it like over this bowl. Still got on the floor. Still. That's for later. Alright. Let me save these sprinkles. I will wash this bowl though. Because it's full of fingerprints. <laughs> Alright. So that's. That is that. There we go. Just a basic cupcake for the most part. You know? I like put these a little closer and hope they don't like fall off. You know. Oh my god. It's there. They're there. Alright, we gotta taste it like all together. So I haven't done that yet. Who was the ugliest? Let me show you like outside there. I don't know how you're gonna see it, but you can see it's like there's some it got some caramelization and whatnot. Mm. That works together so well. Mmm. the inside of the cupcake. Don't know how I came out to see that. That's the inside of it. It's very fluffy, it's not dry. Mm. And yeah, that's our lovely cupcakes. Um, that was like not super excited sounding. I'm sorry. Again, like I took it because I felt a little icky. So like, high energy is non-existent at the moment. But these were delicious. Also, why is this one sprinkle huge? Like, I wonder if I like way up close. Like. Like right there, look at that. Like what? Why is it so big? A lot of questions. All right, I'm gonna end it here. Hopefully the next video you see will be either my, or my MacBook, my MacBook review, my office chair review, or maybe photo shoot series if I can get that going. Uh, I do hope to maybe do another baking video in the future, or maybe I'll do one for Twitch and then I'll just like turn it into a video for YouTube. Two birds and one stone, we love that. Anyways, see ya.